In the early 1990s, I purchased my first Knox Z-Gage briefcase layout. It was called the Baron Weiler, and I liked the detail in it. I laid down the track, added buildings, and then ran my trains. It was fun, but I realized I could improve both the track plan and the scenery. So, I sold it online, purchased another Baron Weiler, and built it. After constructing it, I determined I could do better. So, I sold it to and purchased my third Baron Weiler. Well, in the years since then, I've bought and sold quite a few knock briefcase layouts. Once, I even sold a winter briefcase layout to a guy in Saudi Arabia. A few years ago, I purchased the layout you see before you and decided to make this a keeper. Not selling it, but making it into, in a sense, my own image by adding both scenery details and operating possibilities. In this video, I'm going to show you the enhancements I made to the Knock Moran Z-Scale briefcase layout and demonstrate a significant flaw to the layout and how to easily rectify it. Let's begin. I'm going to show you some of the improvements I made to the layout by moving from left to right and from back to front. So let's begin. First thing I did is I added a little cabin and a woodcutter and a dog on top of the mountain in the left. And then as we move further on in the back, on the other side of the layout I added a shepherd and some sheep up on the other mountain. And then below the avalanche shelter there I added some more workers here, chopping up some logs. And so now if we go back, one thing I've always liked about layouts is trains going through tunnels and the Moran didn't have a tunnel, so I added a tunnel. Used a knock portal on the one side and built up the mountain a little bit, added some trees, and then I had a portal over on the other side. You might notice that one thing I've added throughout the whole layout was I added a number of extra trees, including some blue spruce trees to add a little bit of uh, color variation to the trees that are in the layout. Now as we move down toward the roadway, I added some crossing gates there. And now let's move up a little bit further here as we move into the town and the pond. I added in some people, a guy on a bench overlooking the one pond, added a number of uh, people throughout the, uh, through the layout. And now as we move kind of forward, some other details that I have added in. One thing that I added in was a signal tower here. I believe this was a little uh, Fowler model. Not too sure how well that photograph there. And then the biggest change that I added into the layout was a turntable. This is actually a Fowler um, turntable made for N scale, a wagon turntable but it also had the parts you could make it in Z scale. It has a servo motor that can move it. It won't move it in 30, uh, 360 degrees, but it'll move it a little bit from left to right. And so what I did here was I um, added in a turn out here, and in order to do that, I had to do a little bit of splicing in the track, and then I added in one little siding and as you can see, I've got a car here full of coal and uh, added in a crane that can lift up the coal and add it to an engine. So put a, a little bit of a background in there for the turnout. I always love turnout, uh, turntables, excuse me, on my train layouts, particularly since I just run steam engines. And so that's why I added that in um, the station. I also added in a couple of... Uh, platforms there and then as we move toward the front again I added in an uncoupler here and then I added in a switch and it looks like it's the switch that goes to nowhere 
but actually I can add in an extension and you can add in another siding if you want or you can have it run to another layout um, I even had a platform where I had a uh, Marklin turntable that it could run to so yeah all of these things were designed to enhance just not only the scenery but the operating potential of the layout another thing that I did was I've noticed over the years that the plastic corners of the knock layout um, they can scratch a table and they're a little bit slippery so I got these corner protectors I got it from like a baby proof and kit and I added that to all four corners of the layout so it's really soft on top of any table that you put it on and it will prevent it from slipping well let's get these trains running and I want to show you a significant flaw with the outer loop as I'll run that beautiful blue King Ludwig locomotive so here we go so far so good and let's watch aha you see the problem the grade is too steep for a lot of engines with rather passenger cars or freight cars to make it up to the top well as you could see the grade is just too steep for many Z gauge engines particularly if they're going to be carrying freight cars or even passenger cars going up the outer loop well I found out a very easy way to address it simply put I added an extra baby proof and corner protector to kind of lift it up a little bit so now let's see if our train will go up the the grade there a little bit of difficulty but it makes it there we go and the other thing is is that if we get the other train running the lift in the front does not affect the running of the train in the inner loop by the way I had not taken this layout out of storage for a while and so I cleaned the track so the current track is a little bit slick and that um, added to the problems in the outer loop there so this is the knock Z gauge Moran layout and you can add in your own extra details in addition to the details that knock provides in the layout and you can do a little bit of switching up of the track plan just like I did and uh, make it uh, have a lot more possibilities with operation thank you very much for watching this video we greatly appreciate it please subscribe and like and uh, add your comments down below I'll be glad to respond to them so have a blessed day thanks again